Hopefully you've had a chance to try this practice problem. I'm going to walk through the solutions now. Uh, so if you haven't had a chance, please take a minute to try it. So in this one, we're going to look at NO2 and SO2, two different um, molecules that are going to be in the gas state. We'll be at the same temperature, same pressure, and we want to know what the rate of effusion will be compared to SO2. So that language of compared to is telling me that I really need to calculate the ratio of the rates. So let's look at the rate of NO2 over the rate of SO2. Um, so if I do that, to calculate this, I either need to know the densities or I need to know the molar masses. The molar masses are easy because they're right there on the periodic table. So this is going to be equal then to the molar mass of sulfur dioxide on the top. Remember, we always have these, these opposite each other. So the sulfur dioxide's in the denominator, so it's in the numerator on the other side of the equality, divided by the molar mass in kilograms of NO2. Uh, we'll highlight those as well. All right. So um, calculating this, I'm going to calculate my molar mass like I do off the periodic table and convert from grams to kilograms, which makes it just move the decimal place over three places. So this is going to be equal to the square root of 0 0.064066 kilograms per mole divided by 46.00, sorry, wrong one, 0. 0.046055 kilograms per mole. And that's going to give me the ratio between the two, and it's, it's 1.18. And the way I would interpret that 1.18 is that NO2 travels 1.18 times the rate of SO2. Well, what if you had put SO2 on the top? Your answer might look a little different. So if instead you started with the rate of SO2 in the numerator and NO2 in the denominator, then we would have our, our rate essentially flipped, right? Or our ratio of rates flipped. So we would look at the molar mass in kilograms of NO2 on top and the molar mass of sulfur dioxide um, in kilograms on the bottom. And so when we would calculate this, we would have our smaller value on the top and our larger one on the bottom. So I expect to get something that's less than one. And I do, what I get is 0.85. So what that means is the SO2 travels at uh, a rate that is 0 0.85 times the rate of NO2. And either of those would be fine.